Six Common Digestive Problems in Babies Explained Simply, as a parent, it's normal to feel concerned when your baby experiences tummy troubles. At times like this, it's important to have access to reliable information and support. In today's video, we're dedicated to providing you with a better understanding of the common digestive issues that babies often encounter and practical steps you can take to address them. We'll explore prevalent problems such as colic, constipation, and gas, offering valuable insights and actionable tips to help you alleviate your little one's discomfort. By the end of our discussion, our aim is for you to feel more prepared and empowered to manage these challenges, ensuring the best possible care for your baby. Stay with us as we talk about topics to equip you with the knowledge and support you need to help your baby feel better. One, colic. Colic is a tough time for parents. It happens when a baby cries a lot, especially in the evenings, and nobody knows why. It's really distressing for both the baby and the parents. We're not exactly sure why colic happens, but some people think it's because baby's tummies are still growing, or they have a lot of gas in their belly. If your baby has colic, you can try to make them feel better by holding them gently and rocking them, playing soft music or sounds, or giving them a warm bath. Sometimes, changing how you feed your baby or trying a different kind of formula, if you're using bottles, might help too. The main thing is to try different things and see what works best for your baby to help them feel more comfortable during this difficult time. Two, acid reflux. Acid reflux, also called gastroesophageal reflux, GER, is when stuff from the tummy moves back up into the food pipe, causing discomfort and sometimes spitting up. It's not fun for babies with acid reflux. They might seem grumpy, struggle with feeding, or arch their backs while eating or after. To ease acid reflux, try giving your little ones smaller meals more often. Keep them sitting upright for about 30 minutes after eating, and don't dress them in tight clothes around their tummy. These simple things can make a big difference for your baby, helping them feel happier and more comfortable during feeding times. Remember, every baby is different, so it might take some trial and error to figure out what works best for your little one. Just stay patient and keep trying different ways to help them feel better. Three. Constipation. Sometimes babies have trouble pooping regularly, and we call this constipation. It often happens when they start eating solid foods. Signs that your baby might be constipated include having hard poop, finding it difficult to poop, or seeming uncomfortable or straining when they try to poop. To help your baby feel better and poop more easily, you can try giving them more fluids, like water or fruit juice that's been watered down a bit. You can also feed them foods that have a lot of fiber, such as mashed up fruits and veggies. Doing gentle massages on their tummy or moving their legs in a bicycle motion can also help get things moving in their belly. These simple tricks can make it easier for your baby to poop and feel more comfortable. Constipation can be quite uncomfortable for babies, and it can be worrying for parents too. But with a few changes in their diet and some gentle techniques, you can often help your baby feel better and get things moving smoothly again. It's important to keep an eye on your baby's poop and how they're feeling. And if you're worried or if the constipation lasts for a long time, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor for advice. Four, diarrhea. Diarrhea is when babies have really runny poop and it's another thing that can upset their tummies. It happens when their poop is watery and loose Diarrhea can be caused by different things like infections from germs, allergies to some foods, or even when babies start eating new things. If your baby has diarrhea, it's super important to give them lots of breast milk or formula to keep them hydrated. You might need to hold off on giving them certain foods until their tummy feels better. If your baby keeps having diarrhea or they seem really sick with a fever or are really thirsty, it's a good idea to talk to the doctor who takes care of babies called a pediatrician. They can give you advice on what to do to help your baby feel better and make sure they're okay. Remember, keeping your baby hydrated is the most important thing when they have diarrhea, so make sure they're drinking plenty of fluids. Five, food allergies. Food allergies are becoming more common in babies nowadays. Some foods like cow's milk, eggs, peanuts, and soy can cause allergies in babies. If your baby is allergic to a certain food, they might throw up, have diarrhea, get a rash, or find it hard to breathe. If you think your baby has a food allergy, 
talk to your baby's doctor. They might suggest not giving your baby the food they're allergic to anymore, or they might do tests to be sure about the allergy. Food allergies can be tricky because babies might react differently to different foods. Some babies might be fine with certain foods, while others might have a reaction. It's essential to pay attention to how your baby reacts after eating different foods and to talk to the doctor if you notice anything unusual. If your baby does have a food allergy, don't worry too much. There are lots of ways to manage it. Your doctor might give you advice on what foods to avoid and what foods are safe for your baby to eat. They might also give you special instructions on how to prepare your baby's food to avoid any allergic reactions. Six, reflux esophagitis. Reflux esophagitis is when the inside of the food pipe gets red and swollen because it's been exposed to stomach acid too many times. This can make your baby feel like they have heartburn, find it hard to swallow, or even throw up blood. It's not a nice thing for anyone to deal with. To help with reflux esophagitis, doctors might give your baby medicine to reduce how much acid their stomach makes. They might also suggest changing how you feed your baby or making their food thicker to stop it from coming back up. Sometimes, if it's really bad, your baby might need an operation to fix it. But don't worry, doctors will do everything they can to help your baby feel better. Just keep an eye on them and let the doctor know if things don't seem to be getting better. It's tough, but with the right care, your baby will hopefully start feeling better soon. Digestive problems are a common part of infancy, but they can be worrying for parents. By understanding these common issues and knowing how to manage them, you can help your baby feel more comfortable and ensure their digestive health. Remember, if you're ever unsure or concerned about your baby's symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your pediatrician for guidance and support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.